Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Card Design Concept. Uh, this is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can even call me, okay? Um, we teach all of the softwares on our Telegram platform. All the softwares will give you the software, guide you on how to install it and how to crack it on your system, okay? And then we'll guide you through the process of design until you attain mastery. It's actually for 40 days, okay? Amazing, right? Just DM me, call me, and make inquiry, and then um, just for a token, okay, you get all of this training. If you're a civil engineer, an architect, an electrical engineer, a mechanical engineer, a land surveyor, okay, this is actually your home. We've covered a lot of wide range of designs on architectural working drawings, electrical and mechanical service uh, drawings, and structural designs, road designs, water designs, okay. Uh, everything actually very much available on our youtube channel go down below the description of this video uh, you will find a link to our youtube channel is very much available there you can follow me on any of those social media platform very much available on uh, that uh, uh, description box okay uh, make sure you uh, like this video just give it a thumbs up okay subscribe to this channel look for the red button down below okay this video you find it somewhere down below and then just click on it and you have subscribed already it's actually 100 percent free there is no charges that is very much that is applied to it okay uh it's very much free okay and click on the bell icon so as to actually get a notification whenever i post videos because i post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily to encourage as many that want to have a deep insight of uh designs okay um now let's jump right into it now i'm going to be using civil 3d uh to achieve a, a canal design okay a design of an open channel we are going to be using a civil 3d to actually achieve that okay uh let's jump right into it right now now this is the civil 3d software um you can see uh civil 3d actually has um uh, autocad incorporated into it now um the autocad once you click on this uh, drafting and annotation it takes you to autocad environment where you can actually achieve uh autocad designs where you see all the tools and everything just like the way your autocad is once you have this software you don't need autocad on your system anymore because uh this will actually uh it's more like a two-in-one software okay uh, let me switch back you can see if you're familiar with autocad environment this is exactly this is exactly autocad 2018 okay and then i can switch this back to uh civil 3d 218 amazing right now um the first thing we're going to do to achieve our road design is um first of all i'm actually going to rename this you can see this is drawing five uh this is just default name okay i'm going to rename this i'll go click on this application menu click on save as and then i'm actually going to uh rename this to um uh let's say kabbalah okay just want to use a name of uh, a place in kaduna here called kabbalah okay kabbalah canal for example okay good now i'm going to click on save now um uh you can see we have prospector we have setting we have survey we have toolbox okay uh, i'm going to click on settings and then i'll click on kabbalah canal and i'll right click and i click on edit drawing setting now uh these are their terms uh okay um i'm going to look for nigeria i'm actually from nigeria so i'll look for nigeria now the coordinate system is uh with respect to uh the sea level so uh in nigeria we use mina i'm going to leave uh mina and i'll apply i believe most of us are familiar with river niger river Bime, okay <laughs> so this is meters this is degrees okay i can change all of these this is the scale okay all these can actually be changed i will apply and then i click on ok good now the next thing i'll do is to come back to my prospector and then i'll click on my point and i'll right click and i'll click on create now uh this is actually to insert points these are other 
ways to get your points on your window uh, but right right now we are only going to be inserting our point okay i'm going to insert point now i'm going to minimize this and take it off and then i'm going to be showing you some uh, examples of uh, different ways uh, format of your point that you can actually use on your civil 3d so uh let me look for this folder edited sorry edited uh -huh, edited sorry editor now uh you can see this is a format this is like an excel format okay while this is a text format now um i'm going to i have most of them opened already so you can see this let me open them and then i just want to show you some difference between all of these three points now uh if you look at this point down below you can see it has uh um like a description attached to it showing you that this is your northings okay this is your eastings okay and this is the name of the site okay and then this is the elevation code now um civil 3d does not recognize all of this the reference okay and then this numbering one two three and all that uh, it does not uh, but this you can see uh, this is actually numbered uh, automatically from uh, the the uh, excel sheet itself so this is not actually inserted but you can see this was uh, inserted manually okay so it's different so you don't need this uh, you have to take this off and take all of this off now uh, your point has to look just exactly as it is like this here now uh, the civil 3d may not be able to it will not even be able to interpret uh, to import uh, interpret this uh, it will not uh, accept this uh, data so you have to actually uh, re adjust it and edit that too okay so that is actually not going to be accepted uh, this as well will not be accepted uh, when you try importing it it will not import okay so i take that off as well now good now this is the one that will be accepted by civil 3d you can see uh that this was actually uh done manually by the software by the uh excel by itself okay but this is actually the only thing you can see here is your eastings and your your northings okay uh good now uh this is actually going to be very much accepted now this file is actually in csv format uh, which is very much uh, recognized by civil 3d so if you come to your file and then you go to your save as uh, okay now you you can see uh, i can save it as text tab delimited okay if i save it as that uh, this is what i'm going to have okay i'm going to have um, a format which i'm going to show you okay and this is uh, CXV format uh, okay uh, any of these formats can actually be very much uh, recognized by uh, civil 3d so it's either you use CSV uh, these are the two that I'm very very much uh, familiar with uh, any of the two actually give you the same result okay uh, so if I save this as a CSV file uh, this is how it's actually going to look like just as it is in Excel file like this that if I should save it as a text uh, tab delimited, uh, this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to look for that uh, file. Okay, editor, so we data. Good. Now, um, this is actually this is for your text. Uh, this is for your CSV. So this is text tab delimited. This is CSV. Now, good. If you understand that. Now let's jump right into the main thing. Now I'm going to click on this add button and then um, you can see because here file types, files of type is actually on text. Now if I'm using a CSV file, uh, all I will do here is just to click on CSV. You can see those files format that is supported by CSV has actually popped up. Now if I switch this to this, this is what pops up. I can make it for all files and then I'm going to see all of those files. Now I hope you understand what is going on right now. Good. Now this is actually the folder I opened the other time. Good. Now you have to actually locate your folder. Just uh, um, just look for that folder and be able to locate it. Now I'm going to uh, add this point. Uh, I have done um, tutorial on road design uh, using CSV format 
just in case you don't understand all you need to do is just to go down in the description of this video and look for uh, uh, the link to my youtube channel look for that video and keep yourself busy uh, it gives you a better insight and a deeper insight on how to come about your road designs okay good now i'm going to click on open and then you see okay good now you can see it has checked it green for me showing that uh, it is very much accepted here just in case this does not really accept my point you will see a red indication showing you that it does not uh, accept or does not recognize those points now i'm going to click on ok now uh, these points are already on my window but i can't find them i have to zoom extend okay to the extent where i have my coordinates now i will type on z and enter and then i type on e and I enter you can see the same shortcut key just like the way you do on autocad environment just in case you are not familiar with shortcut keys you can actually look for your zoom on uh, the window here and you'll be able to find that and then uh, use that there good now uh, you can see my points on my windows if first thing I'm going to do is click on any of the points that are here and then I'm going to uh, click on points group properties and then when I click on that click on this drop down I click on elevation and description and I will apply and I will click on OK now um, you can see uh, the description has actually the elevation and the description has popped up I can switch that and then uh, what if I want Eastern and Northern I, once I apply you see it has changed now good now I just want elevation and description I will apply and I'll click on ok good now the next thing I'm gonna do is to actually uh, create a surface for this point now that is your contours okay uh, now to do that I'm going to surface and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to create surface now I'm going to rename this to Kabbalah canal canal surface okay Kabbalah canal surface and then I'm going to click on OK now if I click on this drop down plus I click on this drop down click on this now if I go down you can see this is the Kabbalah canal I just created right now um, I click on point group and then I'll right click and I'm going to add now all points I'll click at all points and I'll apply click on ok now you can see that my contour my surface has actually been created now all I'll do is just click on this just for example uh, these contours are actually the spacing are, are high so maybe I just want to reduce the spacing between uh, these contours I can just click on this drop down menu and I'll reduce that to one meter and five okay and I'll apply and I'll click on ok but before then you can see here the number of ranges can be reduced uh, this is eight I can reduce that okay so a lot of settings you can actually do uh, to suit what you want to achieve now I'll click on ok now good the next thing I'm going to do right now is to actually create add a label to uh, this my point and to do that I will click on add labels I'll go to multiple uh, intervals I'm just going to click on the point here and then uh, I'll click here okay and then I will press on enter or our right click now you can see uh, it's showing me that uh, my contour is at 100 okay uh, which that can actually be um, edited just when it pops up you see 100 you can reduce that to 50 20 10 or whatever value you actually want to achieve okay uh, just for reference purposes, let me take that again now uh, I'm going to multiple uh, let me take down here I can take for vertical as well uh, but I don't want it to take much of my time now you can see uh, it's showing me 100 right I can edit that and change that to 50 for example but I wouldn't want to do that again so I'm going to cancel I escape and I take it off now good now uh, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to actually create an alignment for this now to achieve that is uh, I'll just use a polyline uh, to draw a path where I want uh, my canal to follow but um, you can use uh, the, the tool here or you can type PL for polyline uh, a shortcut key 
uh, for polyline which you are familiar with in AutoCAD. Now I'll click at this point. Uh, let's say I go this way. I'll click here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Then I click at the second point here. Good. And I click on either enter or I right click. It goes off. Now you can see I have a polyline here. Now all I want to do is just to create an alignment. Um, where's my alignment? Good. Now I'll create my alignment from object. That is, I already have an object. Okay. I'll just click on create an alignment from object. I'll click on the object and then I right click. Now you can see an arrow sign, even though it's actually a bit faint. You can see an arrow sign indicating that the flow is actually going this way, going this way. Now I can reverse that and make the flow go in this way. Now if that is correct, I will just if I want it just the way it is, I will click on enter. Now this uh, alignment, I, I'm just going to name it Kabbalah. Kabbalah, okay. Good. Now I'm going to. Okay. Now, um, this radius, I can reduce that, I can increase that if I want, but I'm going to leave it at default, just the way it is. Now, um, my alignment has actually been created. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually to create a profile for this. Now, to create a profile, I go to profile and create surface profile. Now, um, now on this, this is my Kabbalah canal surface, okay? I'm going to add that, okay, and I'll draw profile. Now, um, this is my profile. I'm going to name it Kabbalah, okay, or existing profile, okay? Profile. Kabbalah. Uh -huh. Okay? okay next 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 i create my profile i'll click anywhere here now you can see uh my profile has been created now this is actually the existing uh profile okay this is how the terrain is naturally this is the natural uh, terrain for this now i can actually uh design uh like a proposed uh design for this canal um okay all i'll have to you can see this is not actually well defined you can see because that's the natural terrain and then i'm going to all i'll have to do is just to go to my alignment and then i'll click on alignment creation tool and then uh, i'm going to name this uh propose kabbalah canal okay and then um can see the design criteria is actually at 100 km per hour which I'm going to leave it as the way it is okay uh, I have covered um, uh, design uh, on highway where I explain all of these things uh, uh, the speed and all how to do design speed and all that uh, on my youtube channel is very much available on that channel just uh, look for the link down below the description box and you'll get that channel there okay uh, I'm going to now design this now um, let's say it goes like this and this goes like this now you can see I'm going to have some cuts I'm going to have some filling I'm going to enter or I right click uh, I'm going to get the same uh, result now good the next thing now I'm going to do is to actually um, create a corridor for this now to do that all I'll do is actually to create an assembly I'll create an assembly 
uh, I'm going to rename this assembly to um, assembly Kamala Canal. Okay, KC. Okay. click on ok I'll click here I'll click on the assembly and I'll click on tool palette and then I'll come down to my trench because I'm designing a canal I'll click on this channel uh, it's an open channel so I'll click um, now you can see the properties of this channel is actually uh, displayed here sorry I, I mistakenly Uh, this is the property for this channel I will reduce this depth uh, let's make it 1 meter and I will increase the bottom depth uh, let's say 3 meters ok and then I'm going to reduce the slope increase the slope uh, let's say 1.5 ok and then I'm going to leave it like this ok and then I'll close this good uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is to add a daylight to this. Um, you can see we have different uh, shapes, okay? Uh, so I'm going to use the daylight general, okay? The general one. Um, now look at this. You can see this is for this is for right. I'll switch this to left, and then I'll click on left. Good. Now I have that. Now I'm going to close this. The next thing I'll do is to click on this and then create a corridor for it. Now, um, my corridor, corridor for Kabala Canal. Okay, good. Now um, I'll switch this to assembly for Kabala. I wanted to create a corridor for Kabala assembly. Okay. I'm going to create a target surface with Kabbalah canal surface you can remember um, alignment um, good. Uh, let's just have a single alignment for that good. and then I'm going to leave everything as it is and then I'll click on OK now I'm going to apply I will rebuild that corridor okay good and I'll click on OK click on this and it goes off good now this is what we have now let's come down to our elevation here you see now you can see that our corridor has actually been created now the next thing I'm going to do for this now is to actually uh, create a cross section for this now to achieve that I'm going to click on sample line and I'll click on alignment and I click okay um, okay propose okay alignment for Kabbalah canal okay good um Sample line KC sample line. Okay, I'm just using some uh, abbreviations there. I'm going to buy range of stations. Okay, and then I'm going to make this 25 meters. So at every 25 meters, we'll have a cross section. Okay. Okay, and I'll click on OK. Now, uh, okay, I'll click here and I'll click enter. Okay, I skip. Good. Now, I'll come to my cross section and I'll click on create cross section. Now, um, I'll go to next. This cross section I can rename it as well. 
let's see Kabbalah Canal section okay next uh, I'll draft this I'll go next now um, I can do some little uh, settings here uh, let's see Let's go next, 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 next. Here I'm going to major stations of set and elevations. Aha. Okay, let's allow that is actually loading. Good. Now you can see uh, all my uh, cross sections has actually been uh, created down below here, as you can see. Okay. Let me zoom that and see what we have. Okay. Now at twenty five, you see what we have here. Okay. You have your existing uh, elevations. We have the proposed elevation is actually here too as well um, good and then our offset okay a different chain it's too as well okay now um this one show something The next thing here I'm going to do is actually um, I'll come down to uh, my I'll go down to my corridor. This is my corridor. I click down uh, down here. I go to my properties of my corridor come to my surface I'm going to create a corridor surface okay I'll come to my boundary okay uh, I'm going to add the datum to that as well I come to my boundary I'll click on corridor key C I'll go to automatic I'll add delight okay I'm going to apply that review I'll click on OK. I'll click here. Now I'll come to my analyze. I'll compute material. Okay. Um Come to it. Okay. Go down to my properties. Surface.
sorry. Let me add this back. Add my Datsun. Apply this. Rebuild. Click on OK. So I, I'm going to add some cotton fill to this, but meanwhile I can still as well edit this if I come to my profile properties, okay, I burn here, I'm going to add a cut to it. Now, if you're able to get to this point, uh, I'll tell you congratulations. Uh, on the next um, series, I'm going to be taking you through um, details, uh, editing on uh, each of this cross section, how you can achieve all of that on this video. Okay, on the next uh, video, I'll be taking you to um, total uh, volume table and then how to actually. Uh, achieve your your volume report okay all of that i'm going to take you through that process uh on the next uh video um make sure that you stay safe and make sure that you actually uh stay blessed and and then watch out for the next video on the next tutorial i'll be taking you through you will see uh, this cut and fill uh details on this okay and all of this and then how to edit some of uh, your profile uh, we're going to be changing this uh, to 25 uh, change instead of uh, 2020 and all that, and that okay make sure that you still see make sure that you still